Hi there, Alicia Skousen here, and I just learned something really amazing. For those who enjoy doing Facebook live streams, up until now you've only been able to really <clears throat> do live streams from your smartphone, from your phone, and that, that really limits um, the quality of your videos and what you can do with those videos. But there is a way to use a, it's a free software program <clears throat> online that you download and it will allow you to, <clears throat> to do screencasting uh, directly from your desktop, whether it is a, um, a PC or a Mac. So, what you're going to use first, you're going to go to, it's a website called Project obsproject.com and what you'll do is don't download this one here, the classic. Uh, what you want to download is the Get OBS Studio and whether you have a, a Windows based system or a Mac, that's the one that you're going to download. And then you just follow the instructions for, you know, however you download software and then you get it running. I had to download as well. Oh, it was a, where did I put that? It was called the DirectX. Um, it's a Microsoft program. So I had to download that. Then I was able to download uh, the, the OBS software. So once you have that downloaded, what you will do is open up OBS and you're going to create a profile. So just go up to create a profile new and then you'll name it Facebook and call it Facebook live stream 2. hit OK and then you just want to make sure that everything is clear so go up to the profile oops scene remove or you know that's anyway what I would do is if these are active just mute them that's this is for your audio so then what we're going to do is we're going to, so we have our primary scene here and then you're going to pull in the sources. So the sources, those are going to be your different windows that you're going to pull in your camera and your audio and then you're going to pull in any windows that you want. So they ha the windows have to be active. So later in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to pull in your PowerPoint. So you want PowerPoint to be open. So first of all, we're going to do the um, window capture, new. And I'm going to pull in my The Firefox so now you can see that that's I have it active on the window okay and this is like a layering system so uh, and I'll show you how that works in a bit then I'm going to pull in the uh, the video a new one and that's my that's my video and then I'm going to pull in the audio it's the audio input capture I 
However, if you have a uh, if you have another microphone that you use, um, you would select that one here, and you would make sure that your audio from the from the camera is deactivated. Okay. So then what you'll do is you're going to open your, your Facebook page. So you have to use a fan page um, or it'll be a page other than your personal profile. So then you select publishing tools. And you select video and then you're going to select live here now again it may appear differently in your publishing tools window but so you'll just open up the live stream and then you're going to select this stream key right here okay and then you can right click to copy Then you're going to go back to um, the, the OBS window and you'll go to the settings, select stream and make sure this is the streaming service on the top drop down, select Facebook Live, then you put the uh, just control V or whatever it is on the Mac. You can always show it just to make sure it's there. Now the thing is the when you get the live stream key from Facebook it's only good for about one hour and then you'll have to get another one. Go through that same process of going to um, your Facebook page to get that key and if you were to stop the live stream video you would have to go through this process again to get another key so then you hit apply okay and then you're going to go to um, your output now you have to make this you have to make the settings uh, congruent with what Facebook wants. They want a video bit rate of 2500 or less and here you can also select the recording format. I would make mp4 so that it's more universal and then apply and then go to the audio actually the video. So on the video you want to make sure that you have the output of 1280. That's what Facebook likes. And I believe before over in audio there is a place to select mp3. So it was there before. And then you hit OK. So okay, now what you will do is sorry, just thinking. Okay, so now if you want to add in Sorry. Okay, now if you want to add in another window for, say, PowerPoint, um, you'll just go to the scenes and you're going to create another scene in there. And I'll put PowerPoint.
and then you hit OK. And then I'm going to pull in the uh, the window capture. That'll be brand new. Then you pull in the Oh, one more thing. When you have PowerPoint, you want to make sure that it's set to, uh, you want to set it up where, okay, make sure that, so you're going to click here in the slideshow, set up, set up slideshow. Make sure you have browse by an individual window. That will allow you to switch between windows that are open and you want the manual you want to be able to manually advance those slides okay there we go and then if you you want to make sure that the capture cursor is activated that's your mouse So now you'll see that this is active. Now for some reason, so there's that one. Now I'm going to go, and you also, because you, you need to do another stack on this scene. So you need to go ahead and also add your video. And that's good and you want to add your audio I'm gonna mute that one you only want to have one audio going at a time so so now we're going to go back to um, now we're going to start the live video stream, okay? So first you're going to go over here and you'll start the stream. Now you can also record. So I might go ahead and record this session. So I'll just start the recording and start the streaming. Then you're going to go back to Uh, your window on uh, your Facebook page and we're going to start the live stream now so so right here I'll put in Okay, so now we're going to I'm going to go live. Sorry, I had to get rid of the background noise. Um, another thing that you need to do is go ahead and put your earplugs into the mic set so you don't have that background noise. And then you'll probably want to mute your your speakers. So now we're live and then I can just go to uh, so that's the live stream and then to advance and go to any other windows. Now usually when you're live there's going to be an inserted picture right here but I'm doing right now the live video is on it's activated for Camtasia. That's how I'm recording this training. So, but you can just go forward and you do your live presentation. Uh, this is the live, should be me. Let me see if I can.
Okay, and Okay, now if you want to go to the PowerPoint, you just slit, you just select a different screen down here, the PowerPoint, and then you can continue. When you want to advance the slides, you actually have to go to the PowerPoint. I usually have it up in another window. And then you can just advance within PowerPoint itself. Okay. So now another issue that happens is uh, when you're doing a live stream, you want to be able to see the comments. And how I do that is I just go ahead and I open another window off to the side that where I open up. Let me see. Trying to get the pulling. I'm going, to, I'm going to go to my fan page right now. So usually what I do is I just have this open in another totally different window. And then you can see you can see the comments that will come up right here as you're going forward with it. So now that that's over, so I close it down, then you can see that this is the live stream that I just did. There we go. So then when you're done, you just stop the streaming, stop the recording, and that's it. Go ahead and share if this was, was valuable, and comment if you have any comments, and good luck with your all your Facebook live streams. Bye for now.